All right, here's an update on clutch number two here. I'm gonna say it's probably been a couple of weeks now. I'm moving along pretty well. Uh, at this point is when you wanna start having your next uh, stage ready to go. Um, because as soon as they pretty much straighten up completely, um, they will start to wiggle their way out and break out of their egg sacs there, out of the gel. Um, start putting in a little bit more water in the petri dish um, so that when they do break out they don't dry out they have something to swim around in until you notice them um, my wife's giving me a honey-do list for Walmart so I might swing by there um, and grab a small small fish tank um, while I'm at it or while I'm there so um, once they gain some size I'll eventually transfer everybody into the fish tank. <clears throat> um, once I get closer to this size of this guy here, I don't want to put him, uh, put this guy in right away with these guys. Don't want to just run, while they can be kept communally, I don't want to run the risk of a um, big boy over there munching on these guys while they're um, sitting still. Because usually for the first uh, several days, um, once they break out, you put them in their own cup, they just sit there. They don't do a whole lot of a lot of anything. They're still absorbing um, the gel that they're in. So, all right, we got a quick update here on the whole tadpole setup. As you can see, I ran to Walmart and grabbed a really pretty cheap um, two and a half gallon tank. Um, threw some gravel uh, I had already on hand in there. I uh, didn't put it evenly across uh, the floor there um, from other people's setups learn that by having it completely covered the food can kind of get trapped in between there and just can be a pain in the butt so I only did half or not even half um, of the floor covered there um, the rocks also you know some biofilm will um, build up on that and uh, provide another food source for the tadpoles um, got some Indian almond leaves here um, that I'm going to throw in there here shortly um, to um, it'll it'll meal you can see in this previous or this current uh, cup here that I got a tap on how it kind of darkens the water um, basically it just leaches uh, tannins into the water um, that provide several benefits to the tadpoles in the water um, also throw some moss in there <clears throat> um, at some point as well but right basically right now I am just uh, letting this cycle overnight sit overnight I put uh, spring water in there about two-thirds of it and then uh, top the rest of it off with some water from my my fridge <clears throat> um, which will be fine because um, it's gonna be sitting there overnight and then once that's all said and done, I'll throw, most likely throw this guy in there tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty decent size. There he is, just chilling out. And then these guys are getting pretty close to where they'll start, to where they'll be ready to go into their own cup. Oops. Um, once that happens, I'll probably place them in up like this until they get to about this size and then put them in all together versus having them in there that their current size with this big boy don't want him munching on them um, what else some tadpole food I've been using for this guy from Josh's um, you know reading online people use all sorts of different things to feed their tadpoles. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've seen other vid similar videos and what other people are using. It's whatever works for you. I'll also use some uh, fish flakes as well. Mix that up in there. All right, that's about it for this video. Uh, tomorrow I'll film uh, putting the guy in his new home.